Good afternoon all, Camelback Trading 2724 coming to you this Thursday afternoon, December 26th. You're looking at the market profile of the SPY ETF. And after gapping higher on the day out of a seven day balance, holding the gap, we had a chance for a trend day up, which failed, started trading sideways, actually lowered our POC after raising it twice only to have Machines gone wild as algorithms just mindlessly whipped this up in the last five minutes of the day. Continued on into end period. We now have another all-time high in the overnight. The key today was this B period, lowest accepted price. We talk about that a lot. And it turned out to be a very good trade for me in F period. Did not do it in M, but turned out to be a very good one when it held. So, as far as opportunities today, we opened, I got on board right away. We were above the seven day balance, I knew my out. If we got back into that or filled the gap by his out, well, open and drive, drove straight up and got out. As it was going up, took some off, B period. We came up again, took it off right before we got to our overnight all time high at that time. So that was one trade. It was a nice one. Then I got ahead of myself. It ended up working out okay, but with a gap higher, one time framing up in value higher, I should not have done what I did when I first did it. I started shorting it because I didn't think, because the tempo after A period, B's tempo was slow, I thought maybe it wouldn't get the legs it wanted to get today. So I shorted it in C. I did double my position just about these high and that's what really saved me because then after that E opened up started coming in started taking some off E couldn't even take out C's high and <clears throat> wrote it back down <clears throat> right to B's high and took the trade off and it ended up being a good trade not the right trade at that time but it did make money and then my best trade of the day well, A was very nice. F period got down to one tick of the lowest accepted price. Got long. At the time, it was right at value low. <clears throat> G started. Could not. Once G couldn't even get near F's low, knew I would be okay. Wrote it up. Started taking it off. And took the rest off in H when we got up to E's high. I was looking to fade it in J. I thought J would take out D's high. That's what I was looking for at that point, and I would have faded it, but never, didn't get, I was being picky, so I didn't do it. It would have been a good trade, as you can see, and J came in, K, L, and even M started, came down. Now, M would have been another opportunity, but M is, to me, M is just very unpredictable. Still, I could have bought it again, used B's low as my out, because look what happened. I mean, not only did we get back and raise Pac in M, we just again, mindlessly ripped up. So we go out with a big price probe. We'll see what happens. So what exactly is the lap, the lowest accepted price? Well, to me, I use it, and the same on the, on the sell side, highest accepted price. When A period ends, wherever it closes, once B opens, if B opens, goes down a tick or maybe only two or so, and then never gets below that, and it starts going higher. To me, that's the lowest accepted price, which means not only were there buyers in A period, but they were there and they were still strong because when B opened, we didn't get any uncertainty back and forth taking out a good part of A. We opened, went down, I believe, a tick if that drove straight up. That's what the lowest accepted price is, and that's pretty strong. And if you hold that throughout B period, generally you're going to get some legs, which we did. And not only did we get some legs, but it held in F and it held in M. Okay, destinations for tomorrow. I also, by the way, did go home short. When M ripped up, I made one short play, came right back in, it was nice. And then when it just started absolutely ripping, after four o'clock, I decided to take a put play. Only because I think it's, it was way overdone. For the range we had today and everything, just way overdone. So I don't, it doesn't even have to come near the price probe tomorrow. If it comes in just a little bit, it would be okay. So I did go home long puts. Generally don't do that, but I thought this move was kind of, kind of stretched out and for no reason. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. 
upside destinations. First one will be M's high, which is our all-time high in the regular trade now, is of 322.95. Then as of right now, we have our overnight of 323.14. We're trading at 323.07 right now, so it remains to be seen if we go higher from there. For our downside, first one will be D's high, right? Because until A period starts, we don't know if it's accepted or not. I mean, if A period opens anywhere above D around here, it's accepted. By some chance, we open back in range in value, it's rejected. So 322.47, price probe. We'll see if there's buyers there tomorrow morning. Then we have nine wide at 322.29. B's low, that lowest accepted price, 321.98. And then yesterday's low, 321.46, uh, 321.64, filling the gap at 321.52. So it's still a 12-point gap. And then below that, we have se uh, seven wide from 321.19. And the reason I use that, because we only had seven time frames on Tuesday, and we traded at that price all seven of them. Chart-wise, again, as the month and year winds down, one time framing up right now for two months on the monthly with the gap, very healthy. Weekly, one time framing up. This will make three weeks if we hold last week's low tomorrow. And we still have a gap from two weeks ago, very healthy. And daily, we come out of the seven day balance with a nice pop and close at the top. So we're up, have a gap. I mean, there's daily gaps all over the place. One, two, three, four, there's four right there, there's more, five, six, I mean, there's at least six right there that we have in 2019, just in, from October on in 2019. So, again, all three time frames are healthy. I didn't take that short trade because the market's bad. I took it just because I thought this market is stretched out, and I think tomorrow morning, either when we open, or even if we take out this high tomorrow morning, we should get some pullback because, again, I think those were just mindless machines ripping this up with no real reason behind it. Remains to be seen. Hope you had a good day trading. Have a great evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.